the NDP are lying to you. Now, this time the NDP are staging the kind of propaganda photo opportunities that are just so lazy and fake and pathetic that the NDP should just be ashamed of themselves. Last week, NDP Health Minister and Deputy Premier Sarah Hoffman proudly sat on the couch of an allegedly normal Alberta family to champion the carbon tax rebate that they were getting. The NDP used this photo of them in a press release and Hoffman, she tweeted out the picture of the four of them as some sort of proof that normal people like her awful carbon tax. This family was sold to us as a normal Alberta mom, dad, and this cute little baby. And they were all just so grateful to the NDP for this, I don't know, bribe with their own money. And the media, well, they ate it up until the public, smelling a rat, committed some real journalism. For me, I saw it first unfolding on Twitter and then some more on Facebook. Some people, people like George Clark, the founder of Alberta First Patriots, were Googling this family and they were finding out that their normal Alberta family shtick was only half true. Yes, they are an Alberta mom, dad, and a baby. But it's what you don't know about them that will shock you. You see, the dad, Sean Collins, hosts a public access student radio show in Calgary called Energy Voices. Its focus, you guessed it, climate change, environmentalism, divestment from fossil fuels, scaring people about nuclear energy, and so on. You get where I'm going with this. So that's pretty bad. It makes that photo op pretty fake, but this is the NDP, so you just know there's more to the story. That dad, that normal Alberta dad, Sean Collins, is also the founder of a non-governmental organization called Student Energy. Student Energy says they exist to create the next generation of energy leaders committed to transitioning the world to a sustainable future. Okay, so they exist to spread global warming propaganda on campuses. That's not exactly an original idea, but it does mean that this dad is certainly not the regular Alberta dude the NDP just tried to pass him off as. In fact, Student Energy and Sean Collins were both part of the massive Canadian delegation to COP21. Now, that was the UN Climate Change Conference in Paris in 2015, where the Paris Treaty CO2 targets were born. Canada sent a whopping 383 people to that conference, and Collins was one of them, paid for by you and I, the taxpayer. The Alberta delegation was led by the NDP Environment Minister, Shannon Phillips. Oh, but Collins, he's just some regular, unconnected Edmonton guy, right? There's more. Collins is also the president of a green energy company. Terrapin Geothermics website says they're a unique geothermal energy development company that has developed an engine to utilize waste heat from existing wellheads. So Collins, the president of this company, is a crony. He's happy to get his partial personal rebate because his company could stand to get thousands or maybe even millions of dollars in green energy grants, money taken from you and I through the carbon tax and handed out to him. How do I know that for sure? The Pro Unite the Right organization, Alberta Can't Wait, was also digging into Collins. They found a job listing from early December where Terrapin Geothermics was looking for an executive advisor of finance with, and I quote, a proven track record of raising startup capital and deal structuring with investor network, including angel investors, private capital, venture capital, and government grants. This is shameless. This is the NDP completely and utterly lying to the public. It was bad when Murray Edwards from CNRL stood like a hostage with Stockholm Syndrome behind Rachel Notley and Shannon Phillips to push the climate leadership plan. But at least we all knew who Murray Edwards was that day and we knew there was something in it for him to be standing there. Grants, incentives, kickbacks, whatever. It was gross but at least it was up front. But this this is shameless. Albertans, if they ever even did, cannot trust the NDP after this. We will have to fact check every single photo op the NDP stages to look for fakes and cronies because the NDP, well, they think we're stupid. And what does it say about a government program if they can't find a single unconnected normal person who will tell you that they like it? For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. We cover the NDP in a way that the mainstream media never will. To make sure that you never miss a story, click the link below to subscribe today.